I didn't have a plan to make a sculpture garden. It happened unexpectedly. Every square meter of seven hectares had been reimagined, re-sculpted. Changing what was a flat, derelict piece of farmland into dynamic shapes that responded to the surrounding environment. With what could be seen perhaps as the betrayal of birth, we were cast out from that world into a world of extreme duality. Violence, peace, great beauty, and great horror. We have been removed from the mythical Garden of Eden. So much of life feels like a search to get back to that place that we first consciously knew. Water becomes symbolic. The search for those depths the unconscious, the subconscious, are held within the center of the garden. This is a journey of metaphor. It's a journey of the poetic. It's fluid. It's in that way for me that the garden has evolved as an image. The garden sits between two worlds. The world above the wild mountains are authentic, untamed. They transition down through the garden, which is a half tamed, half wild world. A world that in some ways has been colonized and uh, manicured. Perhaps the making of a garden is to find that connection, that direct connection that we once experienced.
we've moved so rapidly from our original connection with nature, where we grew and evolved for millions of years. We are struggling to make sense of what that separation means. The garden is a work of, of extreme paradox, which is an attempt on my part to control nature. Which I recognize as ultimately utterly futile. <laughs> 